So today we're, we're heading out to, uh, well, we're, we're just going to Lincolnshire for a coffee, really. Um, so I've put a route in. So this is the route uh, that I did uh, when I did the tyres and drones video. Um, and I didn't get that far with it. It's a 100 mile route, it takes us out to Horncastle in Lincolnshire uh, on some really nice little twisty routes. So um, we're going to head out there and do that ride, find somewhere to get coffee out at Horncastle uh, and then come back home basically. Uh, and it's just a chat and a catch up. So I'm testing this 360 because uh, it just keeps switching itself off. Now I've got a review ride coming up on Thursday at uh, Triumph and uh, I just want, I mean this camera is just so handy. This one doesn't last long enough and it has to be plugged in if you want to do anything more than an hour. Uh, and it's obviously going to take more than an hour. So this one gives me about three hours with two batteries. Um, so we're going to go and see whether it just switches itself off. It's up to 7 minutes 43 at the moment. Uh, let's go and see what happens with it. We'll talk a bit about tyres. We'll talk a bit about cameras. We'll talk a bit about uh, the review that I've got coming up. So the reason I'm wearing this helmet as well is um, with having the low screen on it just works far better um, and I want to use the low screen so you get a better view from this camera and when I say it works better with this screen I mean it's more aerodynamic than having you know a, a, a peaked build helmet um, in the wind which is not comfortable because every time you put your head back a little way it catches the wind you know if you turn your head to one side it catches the wind uh, and obviously you get pretty much full wind blast above the shoulders with the, with that screen I can put it up a bit so uh, when I'm on the motorway I can put it up so if I'm doing high speed riding you know it can go to that sort of height which is just enough. It's, it's barely enough, but it's just enough. So um, it makes it tolerable. But obviously everything's, everything sounds a lot windier and a lot noisier, simply because of the, the wind noise around the helmet. But I do like that screen. I just, it, it looks much better on the bike. When, we, when Jay and I go up to uh, Galloway, Dumfries and Galloway, I'm still 50-50 over whether I'm going to use this screen or whether I'm going to put my um, other screen on just to make it more tolerable, more bearable for touring. The only problem is it impinges on the view through the camera, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm not 100% convinced either way at the moment. <laughs> That, it's the only problem, isn't it? When you give a bloke too many choices, you just can't make your mind up. And I'm at that point, unfortunately. This this helmet as well is, I have to, I have to say, it's more comfortable. It's easier to live with uh, than the Peaks helmet, than the LS2. I, I do like the LS2. Uh, just... We, you know, head movement as well with this helmet is far easier. It, it seems almost like it's catching on things with the, with the LS2 as well. But I, I do really want to use this screen. Morning, ladies. You okay? You haven't broke down, have you? Having a breather. Oh right, okay. <laughs> I've had a big operation recently, about five or six weeks ago. Yeah. And it was the first time out on a bike. So oh right, okay. Some earlier repairs and stuff like that. Bit uncomfortable. Yeah. See you mate. Safe journey. Yeah, and you. Check the lad's okay. He's alright. Recovering from bilateral hernia repairs, so he's a little bit sore, bless him just having a, a bit of a breather and I got to see those two young ladies again so you know so it's only ten past nine 
in the morning. What a beautiful morning as well. Sunday the 11th of June. sign there. It's actually closed though. This road will be closed from the 8th of the 6th to the 16th of the 6th. Can I sneak through though? So that was it, that was it basically, so not exactly closed as per usual, when you see a road closed sign you've got to test it, <laughs> all bikers do that don't they? Really excited about Galloway, really excited about that, I'm really looking forward to riding that area. And the beauty of it is, it's the opposite side of the country to Northumberland. So I'm going to treat it as a recce and next year, let's put that back on, give that the test. Uh, so yeah, next year, hopefully, uh, I think I'm going to plan a week in that area from east to west, from west to east. So from Dumfries and Galloway over to Northumberland, ride some of the roads uh, of the Northumberland 250, hopefully do the forest trail at the right time of year remember it doesn't open until may look at that field full of poppies so can i get a picture there that's amazing isn't it that's really stunning that let's park it here under the trees those beautiful poppies in the background so I went out with Jesus Jason and Cupcake Gaz last week. Cupcake Gaz because he bought us cupcakes on the way home for no other reason. And I, no, I don't say it to his face. Very nice day out, really enjoyed it. We went to the carding shed. And uh, then we went from there. Where did we go after there? We went to Squires, that's where we went. Squires Cafe. I think it's up near Leeds somewhere. It's up that direction anyway. Really nice. Here's a bit of video from last weekend. <laughs> First in the toilet.
pretty certain I've never been on these roads. That is flat Lincolnshire. You can just see for miles, the horizon is literally miles away over there. It's a really interesting county with the, you know, with the flatlands in the south and then, you know, the hilly bumpy bit up in the north with wolds, well not quite, it's sort of in, in mid Lincolnshire with the wolds. What a beautiful place to stop. Look at that beautiful river flowing just languidly along. It's a good word, isn't it? Languid. Out in the sticks in beautiful Lincolnshire on a beautiful day. There is a bit of cloud around now, but you know, the sun's still out. It's just such a nice place. And there's no one, there's no one here. <laughs> I don't do this often enough. I don't stop often enough and just take time to take in the scenery. So Thursday, I am riding the uh, Triumph Speed Triple RS from Pidcox. So thank you very much to Pidcox for allowing me to do that again. Uh, I will be doing a review on that, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because the last time I took one of those out, um, it absolutely belted it down with rain. Completely ruined, completely ruined any, you know, any kind of review that I was trying to do on it, especially with Super Corsa tyres on. Um, you know, they, they, Super Corsa tyres in the wet, you know, on a really powerful machine. That was the old iteration of uh, this machine. It was just completely pointless, really. Um, I mean, the video is up and it's had quite a few views, but um, now the new one's out, the new RS is out. Um, we'll, we'll pray, fingers crossed, for some really nice weather. Weather's looking good so far. Um, there may be, as today you know because it is it's gone really humid now so there may be thunderstorms around but um, fingers crossed that we're not going to get any on Thursday and I can get this review done um, and then bring that to you the following Friday when I will be in uh, again all things going well <laughs> and neither of us have crashed we will me and Jay Jesus Jay will be in Dumfries and Galloway Looking for a screenshot. Looking for a thumbnail. What do you think? Da -da. Right, uh, let's get off to Horncastle and get some coffee. I need a pee.
the Horn Castle. Nice little town. I, in fact, I really like Horn Castle as a town. So I was reading about Horn Castle this morning. I think it dates back as a town to 12 something or other. They, there was a lot of horse selling, horse trading used to go on here and people used to come from all over Europe um, way back in the 15th century uh, to trade horses, to deal in horses. And that, that all happened here, which died off sort of mid mid 19th century. So there's a bit of the bit of the history of Horn Castle. Don't say I don't tell you anything on this channel. These tyres are bloody amazing. So much confidence in these tyres, dragging a foot around that bend. I just had a nice little coffee out at Horncastle, which is just over there. Uh, sat in a little square there. Yeah, it was nice. Someone stole my bench though, the one that was right in front of my bike. So I was going to do some off the bike footage, but then Someone came and stole my seat, so I couldn't really do it very well um, without feeling totally self-conscious. Because, <laughs> yeah, I do. I do feel self-conscious. Even out here in the middle of nowhere, I still feel a little bit self-conscious doing bits to camera. It's the bit that I hate the most. So I'm going to have to force myself to do more. So, yeah, we've... Uh, I forget how many miles in we are now. We're about 60 miles in now. Uh, we're going to head up that road there, which takes us back to Bardney. Um, it's perfect. This is one of my favorite roads as well. There's so many really sharp 90 degree bends as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't class them as easy. It's quite a technical road to ride. They're not fast sweepers, a lot of them. They are, you know, 90 degree and, and you don't know actually until you actually get into the corner just how sharp they are and they, they can catch you out. Uh, Bucknell Bends is the local name for that, for that road. Uh, so Bucknell is a village that's way up the other end near Bardney, but it's a fantastic route. Uh, the 1170, I think it is. I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, the B something or other, 1170, I'm sure it is. Anyway. Well worth a visit if you're in the area. Uh, stop off in Horncastle. Shop locally as well for your coffees. Don't go to Costa's like I did, because uh, I didn't know there was another one right across the road from it. Because <laughs> I didn't look, basically. Um, and I wish I had, just to support local business. Although I was chatting to someone there who said that uh, the coffee is sort of adequate. It's not brilliant. Um, but anyway. Let's go and do Bucknell Bends and uh, see if we can stay upright. I suppose I'll, I might as well sign off now as well, um, while you can see me. Thanks for coming with me on this little trundle around Lincolnshire. I've really enjoyed it actually. It's uh, 100 miles door to door. Um, yeah, it's been very nice. Took me on a lot of roads that I'd never been on before. I've been Jack Porter. This has been the Motor Mogul Channel. Thanks for coming along with me today. If you've liked what you've seen, please give me a like and a subscribe uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.